Okay, it's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 1079 and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your fault, B, huh? Radio shout in. Stepping in the building, I got Queen Naja in this thing. What's good? How you this? doing? Feeling good, feeling great. I'm doing great. great. Now, Naja. Queen. Queen, excuse me. Queen Naja, that's on my birth certificate. Are you serious? Yeah, a lot of people skip the queen. Well, you got to straighten me out for that. Forgive me on that. Why? I wonder why people skip the queen. They be like, what's up, Naja? I mean, even if my name wasn't Queen, like, y'all just got to skip it. No, you deserve every bit of that queen. Queen, you understand that? I'm going to start it from right there. Thank you. Now, uh, this new banger, though, Mm -hmm. medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk to me about it. When I had a chance to marinate on this thing, it kind of hurt my heart a little bit. Yeah, I know. It's going to hurt a lot of guys' heart. Why did you have to bring the funk like that, Queen? Um, Because, like, I just feel like, well, first of all, it's from a real-life experience Mm. situation. Talk to me. Um. I have an uh, ex-husband I used to uh, do YouTube with, mm. and uh, we came up as a brand together. Um, and, like, we were, like, looked at as, like, relationship goals or whatever, mm-hmm. or, you know, people looked up to us. And um, so everything was public. Mm-hmm. Um, so things started happening in public, and I started getting embarrassed. You know, I was being cheated on. but I would get DMs and things like that, like, it's your husband, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. So, um, like, it, it was really, really embarrassing. Um. And I always sang, like, since I was three. Mm-hmm. So I had um, decided to uh, put out a song mm-hmm. after the second time it happened mm. because um, nobody knew that it happened the second time. It wasn't public. Uh-huh. So I just stopped doing videos with him. And I'm, I I left the house. I went to my brother's house to stay there. And then so all of the supporters were asking, like, what's going on? Because I was only doing videos on my channel, mm-hmm. um, which I had already made. I, I had already made the channel um a few a few months after we made our well no actually a year after we made ours together mm-hmm. um so I I only was doing videos on my channel I left the house so now the supporters are lost like they don't understand why we're not you know because I had took them back and everything they thinking we about to wait a minute so hold you know, up Queen you let everybody know that he had cheated the first time too no 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 he let everybody know because it was public the girls ex- exposed him. You so, serious? yeah, so I like, you know, me just being, you know, trying to ride for him. Yeah. Like, no, nah, I'm going to stick by my husband. We're going to work this out. You know, married, you know, yeah. we married. You know what I'm saying? that We made vows. So I'm going to, you know, if I want to work this out with him, then that's that's me. Like, it don't got nothing to do with nobody else. Exactly. So, you know, um, it, it happened again, unfortunately. But it was like behind closed doors. No one knew. So they thinking we just moving on, you know. Yeah. Um, but when they seen that I left the house, like I said, and stopped doing videos with him. Mm-hmm. Um, they was wondering what was going on, so um, I told them I would just write a song and I wouldn't say anything. So that's when I wrote Medicine. Yeah. That's where Medicine came from. What has been the reception to Medicine, though? Because, see, also, Queen, you can actually sing, man. Thank you. I mean, you was in there blowing on that track, and I was like, okay, that was a beautiful thing to hear. The song was jamming, and I also know that you actually got a voice to go with it, because you got a lot of folks that try to get into this R&B thing, uh-huh. and they might not need to be over there. No, see, I've been singing in church since I was three, so three. like I kind of got... That soulful vibe, mm-hmm. anyway. Um, and I just, like I said, I had just started singing from pain and, and things like that. Um, and usually when you're going through something, or when I'm going through something, that's when I work best. I work best under pressure. Mm-hmm. Not saying I can't work without pressure when everything's good, but I'm just saying, like, I work really well under pressure. Now, I mean, did you ever get a chance to give your ex a taste of his own medicine? Um, honestly, it's, honestly, it's happening Ooh. As we speak. And the thing is, I'm not even trying to. The song was like, the. I don't know if you've seen the video. If you ain't yeah, seen, I've the, seen the video. Okay, that didn't really happen. That's something yeah. that, like, I thought about doing because, mm-hmm. like, it's so savage. And, like, sometimes we just want to do that. Like, we want to get you back so bad. Like, yeah. but we can't because we don't. It's not in us. It's not in me to do nothing like that. Mm-hmm. That's why it was a dream in the video. Mm. Um, But I would say... My revenge was not like on purpose. It's just me glowing up and and being the the woman that uh God created me to be and I was supposed to be and the fact that like, you know, I'm I'm not in a committed relationship right now, but I am like I have a, a love interest and like it's everywhere. Like everyone clearly sees it. Um and it's and it's it's a lot of rude awakenings about to happen. So take me back you know. to the marriage though, Queen. What was going through your mind when y'all had built this big ass YouTube platform together? Well, we was together since we were seventeen, uh-huh. um, and then we got married at nineteen. Yeah, we used to be like broke together, like we mm. we went through it, like, and then we had we had a son, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we have a son or whatever. Um, so like we used to be that, like I said, that relationship goes couple on Instagram. But Instagram, mm-hmm. it was just cute pictures. We were still broke. Like we wasn't getting paid. Like we was just posting cute pictures and, and they went viral. But that yeah. what at the end of the day, that's not what was getting us paid. Like I still worked a nine to five job. Mm-hmm. I still was getting fired from my job. Like <laughs> And we was just, like, still struggling really bad. And, you know, like, even on, on Section 8, like, welfare, all types. Of, like, I know. Trust me. I know the struggle. Like, I know it. So um, so when we start doing YouTube, it just brought, it just changed our lives. Mm. So we knew what we was accepting. Like, we knew what we was getting into. Mm. We knew that your whole life would be on display. Like, yeah. and, and, and I always loved the camera, but. I admit, sometimes I had, sometimes I was like, dang, maybe I shouldn't have put all of this out because people have so many opinions and, you know, but I'm used to it now. Like, and I learned, I learned throughout the time, you know, to keep some things private now with my life. So, I mean, it was a, it was a learning experience. How do you feel like the money and the fame changed the dynamics in y'all relationship though? Well, well, first of all, he's not an ugly guy. So women always came at him like in the beginning. But when you a guy, like when you a guy and you get you get money and now you now it's ten times the females throwing itself at you and, and then not only that but they some bad females <laughs> like they bad they got banging bodies they Instagram models like um you going to the strip club throwing money at strippers offering you their body and mm-hmm. like you could just you could just you can have it all you can have all these different varieties now you got money you can go different places now you can see different things. So you've been with this girl for uh, since y'all was seventeen years old from youth, and now you like in your twenties, like twenty two. Now, so so he's older now, and you know he didn't had had a kid. He, maybe he wanted to experience more, or like which is not worth it because none of them females could ever do what I what I've done. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But maybe it was just a, a he he wasn't mature enough. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like women mature, girls mature faster than guys in that area. Like I was able to be loyal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but it's, it seemed like it's really hard. I mean, I'm pretty sure you young man is approaching you also now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But also, I can say that I um I nipped a lot of that in the bud, like to where I even had dudes stop approaching me because I was so like standoffish. Yeah, I was like, I have a husband. I'm like, and and then like my social media, everything contained him on it. So if if somebody went on my Instagram, they off the off the top like. They ain't gonna DM me, or if they do, like I'm not DMing you back. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, after a while, you get fed up. Like, mm-hmm. you get fed up. How did it feel when the stuff was going public, though? Because see, you know, a lot of folks they get to deal with, you know, adultery and stuff in the privacy of their own home. Yeah. Your stuff was all over the world with it. So, what was going through your mind at that time when the phone hit the fan? Uh, it hurt really bad. Like it hurt really bad. Like when you, like it feel like, I can't. Like it's it's like a physical pain, like somebody just mm. taking a knife and stabbing, like stabbing you in your heart. That's I how feel it feels. It hurts so bad, and then you got the whole world looking at you, and you look you look stupid, and and you feel like you're not good enough. You feel like you ain't pretty enough. You feel like insecure. Like that's how I felt. Yeah. Felt so insecure, so ugly, and I just wanted to look like whatever he was cheating on me with. Like I just wanted to be, you know, enough again mm. and that's how i felt like just really just really hurt man but i i'm glad you know that happened to me because it, it made me grow yeah and i'm and i'm still growing and i'm like i i had a huge glow up mm-hmm. like from from what like happiness like exactly. just makes me look a lot better um and this and my life is just glowed up period like even the people around me mm-hmm. like I'm around genuine, humble people. Like, I have a crazy support system that I felt like I didn't have before. Um, and I'm just working finally to do what what God called me to do. And now that's how music. how long had you been writing music and stuff like that before? I've been mu- writing music since I was in third grade. Ooh. So, you know, like, um, but of course, you know, the third grade songs was, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, like, I started, like, jotting down. Actually, I don't even write, write it. Yeah. Like, it like registers in my head, and I just remember every lyric. Mm-hmm. Now, when it came time to write medicine, I mean, from what place did you pull that song out? And did that happen directly after he was caught cheating the second time, or what was the timeline behind that? Yeah, it was directly after, and I I, w- I had moved out, moved out of the house. I went to my brother's house, mm-hmm. and my brother's a singer too, so we always mm-hmm. just playing around singing. So this, uh, I don't know why, but 
I found this beat on YouTube, and I was just like, "Dang, I love this beat." You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I, so I just start like just thinking about what I was going through, and I just start feeling it, and I was like, "Yeah, I always got this on lockdown, but Damon, Damon keeping us safe." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I started just, I took every word, and it only took me two days to write the song. Mm. So the first verse was the first day in a chorus, and then the second day was the uh, second verse. When you drop that song and you look up and you got over 13 million streams on Spotify ASAP, what was going through your mind then, Queen? I was just, I was just like, no, like shocked, like dang, like really, like sometimes I still be shocked, like I'm shocked that I'm in a radio station, like no seriously, like, cause I didn't expect this. I knew something was gonna happen good, but I didn't know like when or how, and I just learned that um, sometimes it takes something bad or tragic to happen or sometimes yep. it takes you to close one door for another one to open and not everybody is lesson. yeah not everybody is meant to go with you where you know to your destiny and so if that's what it took then you know what is the ex saying now that you're over here glowing up all over the place um really i don't really pay too much attention i mean he's with somebody else but I mean, I really don't pay attention to it. as long as we're co-parenting. So as long as my son is good, you know what I'm saying? I don't really get in his business like yeah. that. I still see him all over social media, too. I mean, um, just as much as he sees me, but it, like it, it's not there no more. So I really don't worry or care. My mind is too focused on other things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got things to do, people exactly. to see and places to go. How is it for you co-parenting now, man? Because, see, with y'all sleep growing up together at the same time, you know, uh -huh. having y'all first everything together, what was that like? We now being broke up and trying to co-parent and still having well, to see this guy all the time. We get in through it. I mean, to be honest, like it's really hard. Like some people co-parent where they're able to um, get a child um, switch off like every other weekend or every. Mm -hmm. We can't do that because he lives in a different state mm -hmm. and I do too, and we have to fly to each other um, and meet. And sometimes we have uh, CJ for weeks at a time and that's the hardest thing for me because i'm so used to being like with my son yeah. so trying to co-parent and doing this at the same time yeah. like even so when i even when i do have cj i can't even always have him mm -hmm. sometimes my mom have him because yeah. i be doing things like this exactly so um i guess my biggest my biggest thing is like just making sure that um because he's three years old mm -hmm. i want him to grow up and um i don't want him to to feel like mommy wasn't there, you know? So I'm doing everything I can right now to uh, make sure, you know, maybe I get an assistant or somebody that could keep him mm. while I'm at these places. So when exactly. I get done, I can go out and, you know, just be with my baby. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How has it been for you transitioning into the music industry now? Um, I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, it gets really hard to uh, stay uh, uploading on YouTube, mm -hmm. though, as much. But I still try, but, like, I mean, it'd be hard. I think the hardest thing about it is because we don't have, we be on the road so much, we don't have, like, Wi-Fi in the yeah. car. And then when we get to the hotels, the, the hotel Wi-Fi is, like, always trash. Exactly. Like, it's trash, so it'd be taking, like, an hour or something to upload, and we have to leave before that hour. So, like, mm -hmm. it's really hard, and so supporters be getting mad. Like, Queen, where the video? Da, da, da. I'm like, y'all see what I'm doing? Exactly. This is a lot. Now, what is it like being a YouTube sensation, though? How was that for you when y'all first took off and you looked up? You said, you know what? This YouTube is also a job, a good little hustle we got going on here. It, no, it's a great hustle, and you never yeah. have to work a 9 to 5 again in your life. Come on now. That's the kind of hustle it is. But um, it was life, just life-changing. And honestly, it's crazy because, like, moving from Detroit to Houston, I thought that was my big come-up. Mm. I thought that was, like, yeah, we a family, like, we we did this like we we live and we 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 went from a one bedroom apartment on Section Eight to like a, a beautiful four bedroom house and Ooh. you know this and that so I thought that was my big come up when really that was just like the bridge mm -hmm. to get to the real thing which is yeah. this exactly so I mean transition is great it's time lastly Queen you got anything else you want to get off your chest and what folks need to be looking out for though oh look out for my EP the second week of July I promise y'all will love every song on my EP there will be five songs on my EP mm -hmm. um and I'm working on an album too so an album too so um don't don't be mad because it's just five songs because like the five songs gonna feel like 10 because you're gonna repeat them yeah and I I guarantee you that you won't skip through any song I could definitely dig that mm -hmm. Queen Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate you coming through this thing. Wish Thank you nothing but the best and much success. 
B-I-Radio Shout is Hot 107.9, man. Let's go.